Hello viewers, welcome back to Corp Party Sweet Side Quest Historic Birthday Bash. Dragon Frank here. Hmm. Well, does Amy saying nothing? Oh, she's saying something on her head. Did Kishinoma just look over at me? Nah. Must must just be my imagination. Oh, Yushiki say something in his head too. Yeah, no, there's no way I could pull something like that off. I'd be very, I'd be way too embarrassing. Hmm? He seems kind of angry or something. Oh, there's Hachika. See, for those kinds of stories to be that popular, they must be pretty funny, right? Come on, now. Yushiki said maybe. So you perform one for me, then won't you? Ma, that kind of depends depend on the script, I guess. Hey blockhead, start passing him out. Yoshikazu. <laughs> a zombie passing a script to everyone. <laughs> Mostly a zombie just attack people. This one's different. Yoshikazu Yaganori began handing copies of a thin offset book to each person in attendance. Each beautifully bound mini tomes was adorned with gaudy decoration highlighting the title of the work contained within. The hell is this? Is this literally a script? Let's see. Heaven, heavenly host elementary harem school days? The great love love maneuver? Who the hell wrote the script? Oh, Sachiko. Uh huh. Pretty cool title, don't you think? <laughs> she is not saying anything. <laughs> I don't know a lot about romantic comedies, but I know a garbage title when I hear one. <laughs> hmm? This Satoshi? Huh? I'm the lead? Yep, looks that way. I'll be for the best, honestly. Be a weird dramatic comedy with me in the lead. The other principal characters are Nakashima, Shinoz Nakashima Shinozaki. Wait, Shinozaki is in it too? As a member of the Hive? I do not like where this is going. Who else is the cast? Gotta keep reading. Miss Yui too, and Yuka. Man, the list just keeps on growing. Who's Toko Kirasaki? And Satsuki Mizuhara is Yuka's friend, right? I guess you should check out the actual script to see what happens to everybody. Hmm? Hmm? What's up? I heard face flipping. Hmm? Hmm? No. What's it, Yusuke? Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Huh? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The hell is this tribe? It's just Satoshi literally getting every single girl, girl here for no good reason whatsoever! <laughs> Isn't that what romantic comedies are though? The main guy is super popular with every girl for no reason at all! What? That's not what I'm supposed to go! Okay, sure, granted, but still, you really plan to make Shinozaki and the other girls play along with this crap? I honestly don't mind! Are you serious? Harem! <laughs> it's a harem romance, Shinazaki! A freaking harem! 
I mean, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Don't tell me. Nakashima, you're cool with this too? Yeah. As long as Satoshi is the lead, I don't mind at all. I, I mean, I'm not saying uh, I just mean it's better than if you were a stranger, right? And what about you, Yuka? Huh? I haven't read the script yet. But it is my big, big brother. I don't mind one bit. Wow, well, you're out of league, Yoshiki. Yui is a Why is he screaming though? <laughs> huh? Kishinoma, I haven't said a word yet. Why are you getting so angry? Just answer the question, Miss Yui. Do you accept this script? I'm not the whole hardly embarrassing it. No, but. It's better than any of the scary stuff at least, right? Well, everybody see else is on board. <laughs> I don't care if every girl here is okay with it. I'm not! You weren't against it before though, big brother. That's right, Kishinoma. What kind of so uptight? Shirozaki! You might take me a smaller person. But I just don't want to have to watch you get close to Satoshi like that. I don't care if you understand. I probably won't be part of this farce. That's okay, you weren't in the script to begin with, big brother. <laughs> I will not support this production. I stand opposed. Huh? Shimada? I don't care for it either. If you're gonna make anyone the male lead, you ought to pick me, not a uh, plain as nobody with no special traits whatsoever. Who are these guys? What? What do you mean no special traits? Also, I don't think my qualifications are the issue here. Did you hear me? Then I'll say it again. If you're gonna make anyone the damn lead for this fucking stupid rom cam, then pick me, not this boring ass goody two shoes every man. You don't have to be so mean about it, and that wasn't my point. Anyway, it's not about me. It's Morishige. Putting aside Morishige's unique traits, or luck therefore, I too stand to opposition for the charade. However, it might be performed that I am for picking someone far more suitable for the lead, someone with theater experience, such as myself. Huh? Morishige, you object to me as the lead too? If you didn't hear me, I'd be happy to repeat myself. I don't need you or anyone else to repeat yourself. Damn it. I'm just lamenting the fact that every guy here seems to be very much opposed to, op to me taking this role. Yep, he just ripped before she just repeated. Putting aside what just you did create or lack therefore, I stand in opposition for this charade. If whoever it must be performed, then I propose picking someone far more suitable for the lead, someone with the other experience, such as myself. Yep, he did repeat it. I just said I didn't need you to repeat yourself. And why did you have to repeat everything you said? Regardless of your lack of unique traits, you too must be opposed to this part, Satoshi, right? Yoshiki. Not you too. 
If you didn't hear me, then allow me to repeat myself. Stop, damn it. Don't you dare! I'm not complaining about this unable to hear what you're saying. My hearing is just fine. And I don't give a crap about your hearing. I'm just asking if you're okay with performing this absurd romantic comedy as written. Well, I mean no, but still. See? This is the picture of whatever or not you have any traits worthy of the role now. Is it? No, I guess it isn't. That is completely besides the point. But I can't help being at least a little bothered. Do you really think I'm that bland? He didn't say anything. Yoshiki? Hello? Yoshiki? You still there? You're not saying anything. Um, hello? Er to Yoshiki? Do you really have to... Do I really have to answer that? <laughs> what? Is it really that tough question? Do you really have to think that hard about whether or not I have a clearly defined personality? You can't answer me. Big brother? Hey, you. Is your big brother really like one of those blank state dudes to see in anime? Someone with no unique characteristic to speak of? Huh? Satsuki? Well, that's what everybody's saying. And nobody stepped in to say otherwise. But when you put it so bluntly like that, I just feel kinda bad for him. No, Yuka! Not you too! Huh? Uh, that's not it! You're very protagonisty, big brother. Protagonisty? But that's a lot of common. You're really cool headed, and when something needs to get done, you step in and do it. I don't know what any of us would do without you. Hmm. But would you say I have unique personality traits? Oh. <laughs> it's only hitting otherwise, man. But Yuki is right. Yuki is right. What does make you pretty protagonisty? Satsuki. What? Think about it. Calling someone protagonisty is a compliment. When you get get right down to it, it basically just means you're really ordinary. I am, aren't I? It doesn't matter right now, Satoshi! Oh yeah, that's right. Right now, it may not be whether or not I have anything new to bring to the table. Satoshi! Satoshi, are you in or are you not? You're totally against the script too, right? I... You are against Satoshi. it, aren't you? Satoshi. Satoshi? Hello? I mean... <laughs> We have a chance to experience one full day without any scary stuff happening. So I feel like it would be best to play along. I misguided you, man. While you're up against being subjected to the countless worldly pleasure, just think about the Shir about what Shirozaki and I are going through. That's not it. Yoshiki, I don't think we should defy Sachiko right now. Besides, Shizaki said she didn't mind. Isn't that right, Shizaki? You're okay with playing along, right? Sure! Do you even know what you're saying, Shizaki? What do you mean? I said before that I was okay with this script. But, but Sachiko is 
Yeah, and Mashida said he's cool with it too. So there's no problem. Honestly, Kishinuma, have you even listening? What's up, Yoshiki? Yoshiki, are you okay? You look like you're in shock or something. But you're not even in this production, so it shouldn't make any difference to you, right? Satoshi. 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 We are no longer friends. Yoshiki, why are you being like this? Don't you accept that performing this romantic comedy is the right thing to do? You're the one who isn't getting it, Satoshi. Then because I don't understand a thing you're saying, Yoshiki. I don't care. I oppose this romantic comedy. How come? Sachiko spoke. She has a sad face. But I don't think that's a good thing. I had a whole fun day plan out for you and everything. How come you gotta fight like that? How come? It's because of you. It's because you don't do this stupid script. That's such a mean thing to say, big brother. I can't call you big brother anymore. You don't deserve it. If you, if you and your friend are so against my romantic comedy, you know, then I have another idea what you can do. Crap, I think I made her mad. Anyone who wants to escape will be given a chance, but it won't be easy. I prepared an escape room scenario on the other side of the of that door. You can make it to the goal. I'll let you and the other person escape because it's slowly being the only one, right? You serious? That's if you can make it to the goal. Number one, shape up on the battlefield. Azusa? Who's this? Ran, are you okay? I'm okay. Dear wife. What? Dear wife? Oh Lord, please take pity upon us and grant us your cleansing light to wash away our sins. What the heck is this? This prayer is for light offered by the dear wife went in its way into the air, but it was quickly snapped out by the overwhelming darkness of the school. My name is Ran Kobayashi. I'm a second year at St. Cruz Girls Academy. Oh, an academy for girls only. And my wife's name is Azusa Takai. She is a schoolmate of mine from the same grade. What sets her apart from so many others though, is that when she prays to God above, wondrous miracles sometimes come to pass. Do you think your prayer will even reach their mark from a place like this? So far removed from the world we know? Of course. My Lord watch over us uh, as always. You can see us from anywhere. I'm certain my prayers are being heard. What's with up with this girl? They're both girls. Oh dear wife, you're truly as pretty as they come. Simply being your side makes me feel as though my heart has been purified. I should point I should point out, so there's no misunderstanding. That Azusa is not my actual legal wife. We're both still in high school after all, and we're both girls. I'm glad you know that. So there's many hurdles to overcome before we can make our union official. I name won't be a appearing in another's family register anytime soon. Sad as it is to say. Don't let your guard down, Ran. You'll be absorbed by the dog if you do. Oh, is that such a bad thing? No, not on its own. But this place itself holds a certain power that most definitely is. Space can hold power? 
You can feel it when you go to the church, can't you? A holy presence is in the air. I can feel that that the air around me is very pretty, I guess. Well, this is the opposite of that. I think I understand. It is pretty difficult to breathe here. Stay in an air breathe stage and power. And there are those who have openly accepted such power within themselves. Scary people. You don't mean vengeful spirit, do you? I do. And they aren't far away from us now. I could hear it in her voice when she said that. She was shivering. And for it to make my dear wife shiver, it was clear that whatever this power was, it must have been something truly hellish. It's alright! I think I'll be just fine. Oh, how's that? Because my love will guide, will be your guide, dear wife. What's up with her? Strangely, as I said those words, I felt as though this wasn't the first time I said them. Was this merely deja vu or there's more to it? The sense of fording began to creep over me. Your love, huh? Hmm. I could see her smile despite herself which helped alleviate my fear. If only the tiniest bit. Can you think of the stronger force to be found anywhere in this world? Nothing can run deeper or as stronger than love of my lord. My love will protect and guide you in an equal measure that to your lord. <laughs> That's quite reassuring then. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is what I mentioned. It seemed to be emanating from the beyond that door. For real? A great evil awakens? I'm afraid it is needed for real, yes? Though whether or not it is a great evil remains to be seen. When I saw the stern, serious look on dear wife's face, my own face quickly followed suit. Although I swore to everything would be okay, I couldn't justify the statement. I said this to you about an easy flow through me. I don't believe we have much of a choice to forge or whatever. Look, Lord, please let us see through this ordeal. Wait, wait, wait. Please wait! What is it? Before we embark upon this challenge, please allow me to make a set of your hair, dear wife. As you wish. Because this was my wife, I, it should go without saying that every part of her smell passes the divine. But all her many smells, her hair had always been my favorite. So I took a great half of the here and now, it here now, as if this were the last I'd ever see of her. The smell was enough to touch me to the core. <laughs> oh, oh dear one, your plan is heavy as always. That's the truth for sure. What's up with you, girl? The thing was absolutely bliss spreading through the misery was overwhelming. Which I mean quite literally, as I found myself immediately fainting from it. She fainted through the smell. Ran. Hey Ran, are you alright? As my consciousness faded, I could hear my dear wife calling out to me, her voice filled with concern. Even then, it was like the voice of an angel. My betrothed is all her splendor. <laughs> Back here. So if I make it to the goal, I get a high tail out of here with somebody else? Meaning, if I can pull this up, I can rescue your jacket from this hell. What the heck? What the heck, Shinuma? He keeps looking over at me. Do I have something on my face? Okay. I'll do it. Yoshiki, you serious? Why not? If I make it to the goal, I can get the hell out of here, right? And win freedom for somebody else too. I can pass that up. Well, yeah, but... No, you can't do this! Whatever this 
whatever this game is, it's not going to end well. Why are you getting so worked up for, Satoshi? Whatever you got planned, it's not just dangerous. You mean me betting your life on this chance? My life? It's not even serious, man. I mean, ago, she was talking about having a put on a romantic comedy for her. This is different, though. It's no joke. Who can go to save Shirazaki then, huh? Huh? You mean, you may not be willing to put your limits for her, but I am. I'll save Shir Shinozaki. You got a problem with that, Satoshi? Yoshiki. Yoshiki. Kishinama, what are you talking about? I don't recall ever asking you to rescue me. What? I've been trying all this time to play along with Sajiko and get close to her, so I would really appreciate you, you not getting in my in my way. Oh, I didn't realize. Honestly, an, imma an immature like you should just keep his mouth shut and take notes. Ooh. I didn't expect her to tear into this much. But this is a state of emergency. I can let her words keep me from doing what I know I need to do. For Shinozaki's own sake, I have to do everything I can for her. I'll take part in your escape room challenge. I see. That makes me kind of happy. Nana, I don't know what is it, but this Kishinoma guy, he kind of makes my heart skip a beat. Someone's, someone's falling head over heel for Yoshiki, and it's from another school. What's wrong, Nana? Something is on your mind? Huh? Oh no, I'm fine. It just doesn't seem, doesn't this place seem kind of familiar? To you, Nari? Not really. Okay, put in my imagination then. Chihaya. Nana? Hey. Hmm? What's wrong, Chihaya? Um. If you got something to say, just spit it out. I just. God, stop being so mealy mouthed. What is it already? Now, if you speak to her like that, Chiaya is not exactly going to feel comfortable saying that she needs to say. Is that right, Chiaya? Yeah. Hmm? Well, excuse me for being impatient. When we're trapped in this creepy school of death, please don't take that tone, Nari. And Chiaya, were you about to say this place feels kind of familiar to you? By any chance? Yeah, I don't remember it, but there's definitely something. Maybe there's a reason for this pounding in my chest then. What about that boy, Kishinuma? Do you recognize him at all, Chiaya? Huh? I don't think I've ever met him before. Hmm, okay. But that boy with the glasses seems familiar. You mean Morishige? Boy with the glasses? You mean that one? With the perfectly started uniform? Yeah. Doesn't he seem familiar to you, Nari? I don't think so. Where do we know him from? I can't really say I just have this weird feeling I met him somewhere before. A weird feeling. Really? I'm pretty sure his name was... Name is... Sakutaro Morishige? Is that his full name? I don't even know Morishige's full name. Sakurato Morishige. And I think maybe you met him too, Nari. Hmm, now that you mention it, I kind of think it might have somehow. 
So all three of them, I create some form of deja vu right here, right there. Yeah, seem like it. I don't think with those people, but my memories of them are so hazy. Still, I'm not that me. Nari and Chia are experiencing it too. Okay, I have to say though. I completely out time, so I gotta say this next part of video. Look like what a shiki is up against that comedy routine. Anyway, this is Dragon Fang signing out. Goodbye.